Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial with FB Designs. I am your host, Rob, and today we are going to learn how to do this. Write on text. So let's get started. Let's jump on over here to After Effects. I already have the footage in here, so let's drag it down to a new composition. Let's figure out where we want to uh, to start. That looks good right about there. Let's hit B on the keyboard. Let's scroll forward a few seconds so the sun's nice and up. There we go. Let's hit N on the keyboard. Let's right click. Go to trim, work, trim comp to work area, and there we go. There's our clip that we're going to be using. Okay, so first things first. There's a couple things I'd like to explain before we get started, and that's the font that we're going to be using. It's called Gloss and Bloom. A link to it in the description of the video. It is for personal use. So don't try to take it and go make a t-shirt using it unless you purchase the font, which there is an option to purchase it. And the same thing goes for the footage. Um, you want to give the creator of the footage, you know, their, their due respect and uh, link to where the footage come from. Or you could go purchase the footage yourself and then you could use it however you want. So with that being said, let's get started, shall we? First, what we want to do is select our text, which I have already done. Let's right click, go to new, go to text. Let's type out sunrise, just like that. Let's make it a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. Let's drag it on down here. Now I picked this location down here and it's going to be different for depending on what footage you use. Because of the sun coming up and with the clouds going by it was it was kind of hard to tell what the uh, text was saying if it's further up here like this. So I kept it down here to where there's more dark area behind it so you could see it so okay so next what we want to do is let's uh, bring this down so we can make this a little bit bigger hold your space bar and you'll see this little hand and then you can grab the footage and move it around to where you need to let's uh, click off of that or, I'm sorry, click back on your text. Go up here, pick your pen tool. Now, you want to do a path like you would if you were writing it. So, I might fast forward through this, but it really shouldn't take that much time. And basically, all you want to do is just do a path and try to stay within the lines as best as your ability and follow your text along let's move that over a little bit and just follow it around it's pretty simple now I picked sunrise because it's a it's a relatively quick name and if I would have picked something longer or if there were more words I would have uh, fast forwarded through this Oop. let's uh, click back on that we don't want that highlight that again and keep going and here we go let's uh, move that over and you'll see why I'm trying to be a little bit more precise during this. So, oh, gotta go back. Gotta make sure that we click that last point 
otherwise it wants to create a new start a new path and we don't want that so let's uh, move on forward here there we go moving right along now you can see why I picked a shorter word <laughs> Here, let's move this out a little bit because we're going to go down to the bottom of this eye and then come up. Let's move that over a little bit and then go through the dot of the eye. Hold down your space bar, move it over, and then come around like this. Just single click all the way through. It's pretty simple. A little tedious, but really simple. Try to come out wide and then stay close. Actually, I'm going to try to stay close and then touch here. We'll have to make some adjustments. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. It can get pretty monotonous. Now you can do this with any text. I just think it looks better when you use like a brush text because it actually looks like it's handwritten. It's not perfect as you could tell. All right, so next we want to go over here to effects and presets. Stroke. Oh, wow. <laughs> Drag that over onto our text. And then come on over here and we'll hit the uh, space bar and scroll back on over. Now what we want to do is we want to take the brush size and move it up until we can't see the original text below it. So like parts like this, you're going to want to move around a little bit. You don't want anything touching if you don't have to. Sometimes you can't help it, so. All right, let's click on your space bar so you can move your footage around. Now we'll scroll out, go down, go down here to paint style Click on Reveal Original Image. And then if you go up here to your start, you can see it starts to write on. But that's not what we want. What we want is to bring our end all the way down, hit the keyframe, Go up a few seconds until the sun's up. Uh, we'll do it right about there. And then bring your end size all the way up. So now if we scrub through. Okay, so you see this area right here? This is where I was saying that we were going to want to touch up a couple things. You don't want to see this before this before this line here is coming around. So to get rid of this, you just kind of drag this area back. Let's grab this line here. Yeah, we can drag that back there. And then to get rid of this down here, you just take this other line and, and tuck it up closer. And there we go. Even though this little part here, let's, let's fill that in just a little bit. Rewind back. 
Okay, we still got a little bit right here. There we go. That should take care of that. And then this line, to get rid of this here, you're just going to want to take these and move it over. Don't worry about what this is doing over here because it'll fill itself out as you can see. So now let's scroll out take a, a look at the rest of it. In order to get rid of the lines all you have to do is click over here. Just click it once and it'll make it disappear for you. Okay so we got another spot right here that we want to take care of because we don't want any of that showing before it's supposed to. So that looks like it'll be that line right there. All right, let's take this off. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be an issue. this off a little bit kind of got to find that sweet spot there we go ah okay let's see how can we get rid of that we got rid of that then we're bringing that one in too. Okay, let's try this a little bit. Let's try bringing our brush size down just a hair. Alright, let's see how that is. Okay. But then that adjusted that. So there we go. Okay, now let's take a, a look and see how that how that looks like I said you might have to play play around with it for a minute to get it just right oh see right there oh no okay that's that's good that works right there oh, so we need to go in and fix this area right here that line can just take this line and move it back on to a letter that's already showing the letter so let's okay there we go all right let's uh, take that grid off we'll back out of here again Take a look at how the rest of this is looking. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. And let's see how that looks. Alright, so we want to get rid of this little part right here because it hasn't even started to draw on there yet. So, <clears throat> what we can do, Ok, 
Okay. There we go. So now that should be just about perfect. Let's take a look at that and see what's going on there. Alright, All right, well, like I said, you want to just take your time in doing this as you're going through it. Just to clean up little sections like that. But as it's going through, let's turn on that sound. But as it's going through, writing on, you're barely going to notice little things like that anyway. And there we go. We have write on text. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. You can, let's try a tint instead. Drop it directly onto the letters. There we go. So let's uh, we can do a red, and then maybe a yellow. And then you can you can key these in. For instance, where you want maybe you want white starting out. And then as the sun comes up, which is like what I did in the, in the uh, preview, as the sun's coming up, you can switch it over to more like a golden color. Let's preview this. And as the sun com is coming up, the color of the lettering is changing. Now you can also take... Let's uh, change this to 100%. Let's move this over a little bit. Let's go to fit. Okay, we're pretty center there, so that looks pretty good. You could also do things like uh, take a glow effect. Throw that on there and play around with it. Now, as you can see, we got the brush, some of the brush strokes are glowing as, as well as the outside of the letters. So if you take this and you adjust it, you can also change the, the coloring. So now we got a mix of red and yellow. And of course, it's going to affect how the color changes over time from your tint. So there's all sorts of things you could do with this right on effect that's uh, pretty cool. So I encourage everybody to, you know, just get in here and take a peek around and try some different things because uh, you never know what you're going to come out with. So, And with that being said, I hope everybody has an awesome day. And until the next tutorial, see you later.